During my live question and answer session this Sunday that I do every Sunday, someone asked me a very interesting question. Now, I didn't answer it during the question and answer session because I wanted to save it for a video because it was an interesting question, something I was about to put a lot of thought into. They asked me, what are my all-time favorite guns? Which guns were the most influential on me? Which guns actually shaped my opinions of firearms, brought me into loving firearms, and kind of influenced my taste today as far as firearms are concerned. Well, that might seem like a really easy question, but it's really not because my history with firearms goes back a long, long way. As you can tell from looking at me, I'm not exactly a spring chicken. So I actually had to put some thought into this. Now, I started liking guns very young. I was always around guns when I was younger. When I was younger, it wasn't taboo to like guns. It wasn't taboo to have toy guns. We had very realistic replica toy guns. So I've had guns for as long as I can remember, and some of them were always my favorites. Now, I'm not saying we were more uh, enlightened back then because we liked guns and it wasn't taboo to like guns because, you know, we also liked Nehru jackets and rolling around naked in the mud with other dirty hippies. So I can't give us a pass on knowing what's right and wrong. But I will say, like I said, guns were more popular with kids when I was a kid. So there's been a lot of guns that have had a lot of influence on me throughout my life. But, you know, it wasn't really as hard to decide as I thought it was, because when I really look back, there are guns that have had massive influences on my life and on my tastes and my opinions, etc. So today I thought I would do a list of my top five all-time favorite handguns. Now, you might say, why handguns? Well, I've always been more of a handgun guy. Now, I did have toy rifles as a kid, but rifles were never my most favorite type of toy firearm. It was always pistols for me. I loved pistols. So it makes sense that this list will be primarily handguns. So let's go ahead and get started. At number five on this list is the Smith & Wesson Model 19. Now, this was the first gun I ever carried in the line of duty as an adult with an adult job and adult responsibilities. So this gun means a lot to me. It's kind of my becoming a man gun. So I actually love this gun for reasons other than the fact that it's just an awesome gun. Now, a lot of people might say, well, wasn't the Colt Python kind of a better gun? I actually don't agree at all. I think the Colt Python was more of a fine-tuned gun, and it was more fun at the range. But as far as being a better gun, it wasn't. It was kind of a fancy Nancy, you know. It was a little more delicate. It went out of tune a lot more easily. The Model 19 was the man's gun. It was the get-it-done-under-any-circumstances gun, and that's why it's number five on my list of all-time favorite handguns. Now, number four, I don't think it's going to surprise anyone. This has been one of my favorite guns since I first saw Sean Connery carry one in From Russia With Love, and it is the Walther PPK. I had multiple toy PPKs when I was a kid. They were very popular, both cap guns, squirt guns, etc. If you look back through my old home movies, you will often see me with a toy PPK in my hand, twirling it on my finger, pointing it at the camera. Uh, my trigger discipline wasn't so great back then. I didn't follow the safety rules very well, but it was obviously a gun that I loved. And I still love it today. It's one of the classic all-time great firearms. And not just because of its place in history and literature, just because it's a very well-defined gun, a very aesthetically pleasing gun. It's just a great gun all the way around, and it definitely deserves a position of number four on my list. Now, moving on to number three, you have to remember when I was a kid, undercover cops were a big thing, spies, etc. And all those guys tended to carry one thing. They carried little snub nose revolvers. So the gun at number three is the Smith & Wesson Model 36. I can't count how many cap gun versions of this gun I owned throughout the years. I loved this little gun. My grandfather had one of these. My uncle had one of these. One of my uncles who was a police officer had one of these. It was a very popular gun. To me, it kind of represented the whole genre, the whole undercover cop genre. There were other popular little snubbies like the Colt Detective Special, but to me, the Smith & Wesson 36 was the top of the heap. It was the most common one. It was the one I was the most familiar with and the one that had the most influence on me. Therefore, it definitely deserves the position of number three on this list. Now, number two on the list comes from my love of old cowboy movies. I was raised on old John Wayne movies, all kinds of westerns. My grandfather that raised me loved westerns. So number two on the list is the Colt Single Action Army. I 
always had these around me, real and fake. I would go out to my great uncle's house and we would shoot, and he always had a Colt single action army. I actually have a Colt single action army now that was passed down to me from my family, so it is one of my favorite guns of all time. Cowboys had a huge influence on kids my age back in the 60s and the 70s. So these type of guns brought everyone into love and firearms. I mean, what kid didn't have a set of holsters and a set of six shooters? Now, they didn't all have the little white uh, gay cowboy outfit that I had as a kid, but we all had the holsters and the guns. When I was a kid, we all played cowboys and Indians. It was all innocent fun. No one was offended. Well, actually, I guess there were people that were really, really offended by it, but they didn't have a voice, so we didn't know as kids. So we didn't mean any harm by it. But this is one of the main reasons why the number two gun on this list is the Colt Single Action Army. Now, number one on this list probably isn't going to surprise anyone. It's always been one of my favorites, and it's still one of my favorites today of my current guns, and that is the Beretta 92. I have always loved this gun. I've got some sort of weird, irrational love of Italian guns, and this gun is at the top of that list. My earliest memories of this gun is as a small kid, probably eight years old, going to get some candy out of a drawer at my great aunt's house, opening the drawer, and there being a loaded stainless steel, like an Inox Beretta 92 sitting there, and I thought it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. I actually forgot about candy for a couple of minutes. This gun, to me, was just the epitome of what a firearm should be. And also, you had the fact that every bad guy in every cool movie seemed to have a Beretta 92. The bad guys always had the cooler guns. So this gun was something that I have loved from the first moment I saw it, and I still love it today. Therefore, it is definitely my number one favorite handgun of all time. So there you have it. There's the current list of my five all-time favorite and most influential handguns in my life. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say current list. I guess I should just say the list because you know, I ain't going to get that much older and I'm not going to have that many formative experiences with handguns in the last 40 years of my life. Uh, I'm pretty much fully formed now, as you can tell. So that's my list. I know you can't really argue with uh, my personal choices, but I'm sure there's some people out there that will. But what I want to hear right now is what are the most influential guns on you throughout your life? What is your favorite handgun? Which handgun shaped who you are as a gun owner? Put it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. But until then, there's my list.